Target is doing me dirty right now. No. <laughs> Tori, stop filming me. Christmas! trying to adjust the lighting because it's a Keep little dark. Things. At the end I'm going to be like, okay guys, so like, share, subscribe to Tori right down here. <laughs> I'm going to be like, Sarah, Sarah, stop it. Really? <laughs> Your head looks so much bigger than I you. know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello YouTube, today I'm here with my friend Sarah. Surprise! And we're going to talk about something cool that I'm going to be doing this month. I hate doing my intro in front of people because I, I always feel so I'm gonna scary the whole time. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TSS6295. All right, let's get into the video. Tori, stop filming. <laughs> If you don't remember Sarah, she was in my vlogs from Peterborough Players this past summer. She's awesome. She's been doing this very cool thing called the Bucket Challenge that I'm going to be starting. So, tell us about the Bucket Challenge, Sarah. How you came up with it. To talk now. To talk now. <laughs> Go for it. So, what I've been doing recently is I started this thing called the Bucket Challenge, which honestly, that's not a very creative name. I thought I was going to come up with a better one. Where the whole concept of mm -hmm. the idea came from is that New York City is rough. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. Like, you always think when you move to New York that you're like, oh, I'm going to do all these things. The world is my oyster. I have New York City at my fingertips. Yeah. The problem with that idea is that New York City makes you so sleepy. So just like the thought of leaving my apartment sometimes <laughs> was really draining. I was in a really bad rut where I was just kind of waking up, eating some Reese's Puffs, <laughs> watching some Netflix, going to work, coming home, doing the same thing every mm -hmm. day. I kind of fell off the wagon on auditioning, I kind of fell off the wagon on hanging out with friends, I fell off the wagon on pretty much everything, Yeah. Um, and just was like sitting at home, going to work, going to sleep, sitting at home, going to work, going to sleep. That's a really bad rut to get into, especially in a city like this that's already like pre-designed to get you down, Yeah. you know? So that was a whole like background to why I started it. In general, what the bucket challenge is. The rules of it, you find a bucket, mm -hmm. you put about 50 slips of paper of things that you either need to do, want to do, or things that like put you out of your comfort zone that you like should be doing, yeah. but like don't really want to like make the effort to go and like put yourself out of your comfort zone and do something like that. Yeah. So the goal is to really like push boundaries and like help you explore the area around you while also getting things done that like need to get done. Some of the things that I need to do would be like, I need to work out, practice for auditions, go to audition. You would think that you wouldn't have to put work out <laughs> in the bucket. Like you would think you could just go yeah. three blocks down to your gym, <laughs> but you would be wrong. <laughs> And then there's some things in there that I want to do. Like, mm -hmm. Tori went with me for one of those. Yeah. We went and got these huge milkshakes at Black Tap. Um, it was fun. They I were mean, so they good. they literally have cakes in them. Inside them. Like, it's a milkshake with a cake on it. Yeah. It's insane. Then the stuff that pushes me out of my comfort zone. One that I've drawn already was to take a dance class at yeah. BBC. That was like... That was hard for you to do. Another one where I have the, to audition for one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's a good one. So like, that's a really, like good one. really big things that like I've been putting off and putting off because yeah. they make me uncomfortable because they make me like I like don't want to do it. I don't want to push myself to do that. You put them all in a bucket and every day you draw and you have seven days to complete that. Now mm -hmm. I did mend that rule a little bit because also V broke. Be safe with your money, you know. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. It's yeah. not supposed to make you homeless. Those were the kind of rules like accomplish it within the week unless it's like super expensive and then save mm -hmm. up for it and accomplish it later. Just like post about it and tell people what you're doing. I yeah. have quite a few people that have already joined in. We have a friend Emily who actually made two She's buckets. She's doing two. My friend Alexa started it as well. Shout out to oh, everybody. Wow. Everyone is doing a bucket. I think what's really cool is like seeing everybody's like what they put in their bucket. Yeah. Because someone like my my friend Alexis drew one the other day that was like no alcohol for a week. I'm going to talk about how I'm, I'm going to do it yeah. a little differently. So for me I know in my own brain with how I need to work and figuring out lots of jobs and like Auditions. And also, I talked about in my New Year's resolutions video that I wanted to vlog for a full month or like a full 30 day period every single day. Like, I did it for Vlognica and I really liked it. And it's something I've been wanting to do since I was like 16. I've been wanting to vlog every day for a month. So, I was like, this is going to be a challenge to myself to vlog every day as well as do everything in the bucket challenge. So, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting probably about like 30, 35 ish things in there to fill out the month, the month yeah. and then I'm gonna pick them seven of them on I think a Sunday and then have each one so I already know what I'm doing for the week because I will probably forget to pick on each day and then just know exactly what I'm doing ahead of time so I can like plan out my week with it too if I pick something like that's small and easy to do I'm gonna pick two so that's why I'm gonna put in more than 30 this is gonna be going from like June 10th 11th 
which is- That's my birthday! It is? June 10th! Oh my god, I forgot! <gasps> I'm gonna be posting from June 11th to July 11th with the bucket challenge. Yes! I'm gonna make Sarah do some with me, but also like I hope she'll want to do some bucket challenge stuff with me. If you're interested in doing this bucket challenge, I'm gonna link to Sarah's Instagram down <gasps> below and her all her social media stuff so you can Yay, follow her follow and follow her bucket challenge. I think what I'm gonna do for my birthday is in, you know how like when it's your birthday on Facebook and everyone's like, happy birthday! Yeah. Instead of people posting happy birthday, like they can still wish me happy birthday. Yeah. Because my I want everybody to post one thing that they think I should do and one thing that they think would be fun for me to do. Oh my god, so like in and the comments of this video, because it's going up on her birthday, po like post something. Give me some things. Give her some things to do. Also, I'll, yeah. I'll probably take on some of these things as well. If you're yeah. like, I don't want to do that, I'll do it. I'll add it to my bucket. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to let my um, social media friends and family decide my summer bucket. I think I've talked about everything. The dates of it, June 11th to July 11th. This video is June 10th. Go follow Sarah on all of her social media. It's gonna be all the link down below because she's awesome and like she started this thing. So like, you should go follow the original person who did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments down below, for Sarah's birthday, leave some bucket ideas for both of us to do. Her as well for her birthday, but for me to also pick on some things to do. Yeah. And if you decide to do this bucket challenge as well, Leave that in the comments too. Let us know. Tag us on social media about it. Let us yeah. know that you're interested in doing this because it's it's gonna be great. I post no, I post things about everybody who's doing it. Yeah. So if you guys ever like want, if you need like a good community for the bucket, she's like, great. She's great yeah, about that. I'll I, connect everybody. We should make a bucket challenge Instagram, or you should make <gasps> one. So you can yeah. like repost people doing it. Make sure and subscribe to Tori. Uh, Tori, stop filming me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback. To last summer. I'll link those videos as well. And Tori stopped filming me. Corey will tell you to stop filming him and then he'll start his own YouTube channel because he literally he did. One of our friends from Beaver Road, Corey, he was the star of the Tori Stop Filming Me compilation he got video. So mad. He got so mad. I would just throw my phone away from me during this during the summer. And then he started his own YouTube channel, which I will also link down below. <laughs> Corey stop filming me. Corey stop <laughs> filming me. It's very funny and like um I definitely want to do a collab at some point with yeah. him. Wacky YouTuber 137 and TSS6295, like we got to collab That'd be on a something. lot of letters and a lot of numbers and a lot of fun. That's right. Takis <laughs> challenge. He just he just, just sat there and ate food, food for 12 minutes. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below at TSS6295. Like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. DFTBA. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did it. I can't wait to see what that becomes. It's going to be great.